political leaders, civil society leaders, and in between the compartments are reasonably watertight. So if you think you are a popular civil society leader, don't try to contest an election because you will lose your deposit and possibly your household. <laughs> What it implies that in the minds of the citizens, the spaces are different. If we are confused, it's just too bad. Number two, the aspirations of people, particularly young people in India, today are at a different space. They want the government to be accountable, etc., etc., but more than that, they want to be themselves. There is, in fact, a change that has happened, which is a nationwide shared aspiration of the young, which means whether it's my daughter or is the son of a farmer in Odisha. Where they want to go is similar. Their destination is similar. Their starting points are different. But they don't distinguish between destinations anymore. 900 million of them have mobile phone and the smart, cheapest smart mobile phone is available for 1600 rupees today. Don't have to invest in iPhone 5 or 6 or whatever. That's all irrelevant. So, that, 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 you know, where they want to reach, they want to reach there with dignity, with self-respect, and they don't want to reach there with tolls, with subsidies, with treatment by government officials and service providers which push them down saying you are scheduled caste and Dalit and Muslim and poor and all this nonsense. We don't know. Narendra Modi picked up the sense. And throughout election, that's what campaigning he was saying. And that's the support he got. Even though the India Against Corruption campaign was largely led by young people and a lot of that mobilization was supported through new technology, SMS, social media, etc. When it came to political campaigning, Kejriwal et al. forgot that the young who were their supporters wanted to go at the same place. They could not provide the vision and the pathway that the young were looking for. So, while you opposed, you could critique, but when you sit in governance or aspire to sit in governance, you must propose, and your, if your proposition uh, resonates with the people. Now, considering that 500 million Indians are below the age of 21, and the median age in India is 24, that means 625 million Indians are below 24. They are all the products of 1990 and later. They don't have a history or a memory of that. For them, of the previous era is what you read in history books occasionally and pass your exams. So they are looking for a new way of organizing their life and their society around themselves. And I think the leadership of Aam Aadmi Party uh, could not connect. So just as civil society organizations like Priya were surprised when in December 2012 on the issue of rape of that woman, the Nirbhaya case, spontaneous protest took place on the streets of Delhi and around the country, 
I think the political formation of the Aadmi Party as a protest movement had its fingers on the pulse of the young, but as a party missed it, which reinforces the notion I am taking in front of you that these are two different domains. They must intersect, exchange, engage, but uh, what works here may not necessarily work there. So if you are standing on a citizen action space, civil, civic space, uh, guard it well, engage with the political space, political parties, institutions, but you cross over, you may confuse yourself and certainly your supporters. As one of the consequences of this, of course, is that if Narendra Modi thinks that all those civil society leaders who became part of the Aam Aadmi Party, some of the names I gave, there are many more, and contested elections against his party, then they are his political opposition. And uh, we want to be an independent voice and critique, but we are not political opposition, because then we will be treated as an opposition political party for which we may not be even equipped or prepared. So those are the lessons from this uh, experience of the Indian journey and uh, hopefully we can have some uh, good conversation with our panelists and all of you here. Thank you very much. <laughs>